Hello guys, Deuterant slash LearnSwain here, and as you can see, for once, I'm playing Minecraft again on my new computer. And as you can also see, I have ComputerCraft installed. Now, one of no, two of the most recommended things that I often get in my YouTube comments is one, use mods to make computers easier, and two, to make internet in Minecraft, along with Minecraft in Minecraft, which is an extremely overly suggested thing. So um, I combined those first two into Project Dynet, a dynamic internet system in Minecraft. Now it's not released yet, it won't be released when this video is uploaded either, it's still in beta. But it's uh, really cool, and it only requires two computers minimum, recommended three. The DNS server is optional, but if you have a DNS server, it makes things a lot less laggy and makes things just work faster. So um, over here is the web server, the DNS server, which looks up the names, like www.google.com. If you're going to go to that website, go from client to DNS. DNS would reply to the client and the client would then connect to the server. That's how it works in real life, basically. It can also connect directly to the server, but uh, that gets a bit more complicated. That's just how it usually works. Now this design is designed um, for three main things in mind. First of all, it's easy to use, extremely easy to use, and second of all, to provide dynamic websites, hence the name Dynet, or Dynamic Internet. As you can see, you have a floppy disk, so you can see what it, how it's spelled. And third of all, and third of all, to provide hyperlinks and well, colorful web pages and stuff, which I will be showing you later. So enough chatting. Let's start up the. Uh, hold on, we need to start with DNS first. There we go. That's how easy it is to start that up. In fact, it's in the released version, it's going to automatically start up. So it, you wouldn't even need to type anything in there. And over here, we hold Control R, and it starts up the server. That hosts the web page. And over here, we type web, and we have a little web browser. Now all of these actually log everything that's happening, so if a website's accessed, then it tells us. So over here, it's a search for a modem and everything, DDNS found with ID 1, registered as test on DDNS. So this website is called test, test.com, www.test.com, whatever you want to call it. And over here you can see the request. It's a little buggy still, it's debugging information, so in the final version I'm going to clean that up a bit. So if we go to test.com, or dot com, the dot com part is optional, if you, can, you can remove it and it won't work, well it will still work. Ah, darn. It appears a recent change means that that dot com and www dot thing doesn't work anymore. I need to fix that. So anyway, this is what it looks like normally. Welcome to my testing server. As you can see, this has color, and we have a page called music. Now I can click on this, and we'll go to an another website, a web page. And over here, you can see here's me failing to connect to test dot com. Uh, received who is and test who is from 3 for tests and 6. Now that's not really important, but here you can see page slash home requested, page slash music requested, and everything. So you can click on stuff and stuff happens, so I can click return to home page, or I can use the up and down arrows. And um, so here's the dynamic part, a demonstration of the dynamic part. If I put in a music disc, like this one, 
Now, right now it says no disk, so we can click the little refresh button. And then it says currently has C418 blocks. That's the name of the CD currently in the um, disk drive thing. And I can click play, and it will start playing the music. And I can push stop as well. You can also use the arrow keys to control this. As you can see. And we can eject, which will also automatically refresh the page. So yeah, you can of course do other ones as well. If you just find where music discs are, just C4. Um, now let's just take this one, put that in there, then refresh. And we can click play, and it will play that as well, like it should. So, the purpose of this sort type of system is that you have many servers and many clients around your house. So one would, for example, be this, a music player, and then you'd have a client in every room of your house. This is getting rather annoying. And so you'd be able to play and pause or change tracks anywhere in your house by any of these little computer terminals. You'd be able to just browse websites and stuff. And then you'd have separate computers like a computer that controls or a server that controls your front door. So you can unlock or lock your front door from anywhere in your house. Or you could have something that automatically crafts stuff with build craft or something. And then you could order blocks or smooth cobblestone and have it shipped to you so to speak with minecarts and you'd be able to choose where to go from anywhere in the house anywhere at all so if you're in your crafting room and you're like man I wish I could listen to that one song all you need to do is right click on the little computer in that room and go to music.com or whatever you call it and then you can just play the music so right now this demonstration only has one server and one client, but it supports much more. Also the DNS server is optional, so I can terminate that. Just, I can even just do that, prove that it's not connected at all. I need to reboot this, and it will tell me no DDNS found, hosting domain as test. And over here, we need to do the same. Refreshing won't fix it. We need to start it again. It gives us a little warning. Ignore that. I go test. And it still works. Now it's a bit slower now. And also the DDNS or DNS requests are now logged on the screen here as well, so that sort of doubles. It's more laggy and it's slower, but if you only if you have limited computers for some reason, then it will, will it will work with just two computers in the system. This, by the way, is just me testing to see if this LAN cable or network cable has any limits. Turns out it doesn't, or at least if you make one that long, that any longer you shouldn't need to build. So yeah. So it works. Um, it's only a beta right now, or alpha, or whatever. So, and it's not really done yet, there's still a lot of bugs. If you try to connect to a website that doesn't exist, like blah, it'll tell you that the server wasn't found, and if there was a DNS error, it would tell you that as well. I go test slash blah, test blah on the page blah on the test server, it'll tell you it doesn't exist, and not even the 404 error page existed. Because if it doesn't find the web page, then it tries to find a page called 404 on the server. And if it can't find that, then it gives a 404 error for not finding the 404 page. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. You have a little menu button here as well, which doesn't do much. This shows you the ID of the current website. If the DNS server is on, it'll show you the idea of that as well and some basic information so um, 
Well, that's about it. There's two more things I can show you how to install it. Well, it's it's not released yet, but if it were released, you simply put the floppy disk in a computer, you hold Control R, then you choose what you want to install. So you want to make this a web server, you type 3, then copy stuff, and checks, and then it launches automatically. Now, of course, it failed because there's no modem connected, and it tries to connect to the back anyway, and there's no modem there. So, yeah, that's slight. Thing. Of course, if this were connected, it would work. Well, then let's actually do that. Let's let's show you what this would do. Oh. Oh, this is the computer. Okay. So if this works, because I'm not too sure. No default using back modem. Hosting domain is test. Uh oh, that's an error. <laughs> These two are both called test now. I need to turn on the DNS. Hold on. does work a bit better if you plug it in. Um, just bear with me. There. Now you know restart all of these. See, you either choose to have a DNS server or not, because switching between them is not really easy. DNS found by D1. Server not found on DDNS server. As you can see, it was ID from 7, 47, sent, blank, nothing. It's not on the system. So we need to name this. Let's call this, um, I don't know, what should we call this? Example. Registered as example on DDNS. Web server started. And in here, we can put C418 blocks. So now, you should be able to go to test, and this will contain C418 more, and example should contain C418 blocks. Behold! And I can eject that one, and it will eject that one, or I could have played it. You know, I have a little bug there. Okay, and test. Go over here. And play that one. Now, for some reason, Minecraft doesn't allow you to play two songs at the same time. So that's a bit weird. But yeah, it works. It's very nice. You could have hundreds of these servers, hundreds of these clients. It would still work. Uh, it's still a work in progress. So, um,. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll try and release this when I hit 2 million YouTube views. Because I'm nearly at 2 million YouTube views, that's pretty amazing. So that's kind of my deadline. And um, hope you liked it. And yeah, comment, rate, subscribe. And bye.